Thank you for watching this LACERT installation video. My name is Greg and I work in the new client services department for LACERT. After watching this video, you should be able to install LACERT as a standalone installation or in a network environment and be able to add additional tax program modules and additional states. The installation requires that you have internet access, a valid login for the LACERT website, a license for the LACERT tax program being installed, administrative rights on the computer to be installed, computers that meet our system requirements, and read-write-modify rights of the shared network folder. This would be for network installations only. These are the system recommendations for the 2014 LACERT tax program. You can see the processor speed, RAM memory, and hard drive requirements. As for the supported operating systems, we only support Windows operating systems as seen here. And here's a list of the supported server operating systems. You can see that if Microsoft supports that operating system, we also support that operating system. Navigating the website for installation, the first step to install the LACERT tax program is to go to accountants.intuit.com and log into the LACERT website. Select the My Account button and log in. This is the login screen. If you have not created a login to the website, select Create an Intuit account and follow the prompts. You will need your customer account number and the billing zip code to complete the creation of the login. Logging into this website will open a page we call the Accountant Dashboard. On the Accountant Dashboard, you will see the current year product for which you've been licensed. In that area is a link labeled Download Products. Selecting that link will open the Web Downloads page. On the download page are multiple years of the program available for download. We will concentrate on the current year installation, but the prior year installs are very similar. Selecting the Download 2013 LACERT Tax Program link will open the page where the installer for the 2013 program is located. There is also a Getting Started Guide here as well. This is the 2013 downloader page. Select Download Now and run the file. This file is very small and the bulk of the program will be downloaded during the installation. Depending on the browser you are using, you will be presented with a window similar to the ones seen here. Run the file if you have that option, save it if you don't have that option, and run it after it is saved. The first screen of the installer is a welcome screen. Select Next to continue. The next screen is prompting you to select the method to be used to license the program. In this demonstration, we will use the option Download a Preparer File from My Account. Selecting Next will then display the screen to enter the login name and password. This is the same login name and password used when logging into the LACERT website. Enter your username and password. Select Next to continue. For this demonstration, we will install only the LACERT tax program. Select that box and select Next to continue. This screen is only seen if a network license is detected. If you did not buy a network license, you will not see this screen. Leave the default answer to Yes so you will share the data and the options for the program. The location of this shared file path must be accessible to all users in the office and the users must have read, write, modify rights to this folder. Once you've selected the shared file path, select Next. This next screen is where the local installation of the program will reside. The standalone installation picks up again here. This location will be the same whether installing in a standalone environment or in a network environment. I'd suggest leaving the path to the default. This is the Select States screen, where you will select all the federal modules, business, individual, etc., and to select the states needed. A note about selecting states. Install any and all the states that you know you need. My advice is to select what you know you need and not select all unless you really want all the states. If you select all the states, you will be prompted to update all of those states, even if you don't use those states. Once you've selected the modules and states you need, select Next. This screen shows the installation settings. There is really nothing to do here except install. You'll see a couple of progress bar screens. This one's showing the downloading of the files from the internet. And then this screen showing the installation progress of the installation to the workstation. The workstation setup screen has instructions on how to install the workstation on any other computers needing to run the LACERT tax program. This screen is only seen when installing in a network environment. Either make note of this path or print these instructions. At this point, the standalone install is complete, and if in a network environment, the workstation install is completed on this computer. If you installed as a standalone, please continue to watch this video. I will show you how to add additional tax modules and states in just a few minutes. If you're installing in a network environment, these last few steps will show how to install a cert on other computers in the office. 
During the network installation, we were shown a screen that had instructions on how to install LACERT on other computers in the office. In this example, I selected H LACERT 13 TAX as the shared file path. To install LACERT on another computer, go to that computer and browse to the folder H LACERT 13 TAX Setup 13 and run the file TAX Setup. This top screen is the first screen of the workstation installer. Select Install and the bottom screen will appear, which is a status bar screen. When it's finished downloading the files from the server, you will be presented with this final congratulations screen. Select Close on this window. The program is now installed on this computer. Complete the same process for all other computers in the office that are needing to be installed. Installing additional tax modules and states. I mentioned earlier my suggestion to install just what states you know you need, but you may need to install more of the program later. It's very easy to install additional components even in a network environment. The first thing to do when installing additional modules is to close the tax program. If you're in a network environment, only the computer adding the additional modules needs to close LACERT. No one else in the office will need to close the program. Go to Start, All Programs, select LACERT, and then select 2013 LACERT Web Setup. These install screens are the same as the install screens during the initial installation. Note, I am only installing the LACERT tax program. This is the same screen we saw during the initial installation. Select any additional states and tax modules needed. The next screens are the same we saw earlier, and when it's done, the workstation has been updated. For those installing in a standalone environment, that's all there is to adding a state. If we installed in a network environment, only one computer in the office will need to go through the motions of adding additional states. The next time the LACERT program is opened on another computer, these additional states will be installed on that computer automatically. Again, no one needed to be out of the program when these additions were made, and it's when the program is opened on the other computer that the additional states are installed. I'd like to close by thanking you for taking the time to watch this presentation. I hope it will help with any installation questions you have. Thank you.